How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome back to Banana Fish. Last week, we got a smooch, our, our first on-screen smooch in a year, so I'm on cloud nine. Honestly, I considered stopping the series right there and then, just to, just to end on a high note, you know? To end on the highest note, in fact. I can't imagine this show having anything more to give me beyond that point. But you guys want more, and apparently, I haven't even really gotten any of the sad stuff. So we press on. <laughs> Oh, let's go! Conditional freedom! And that's bail, baby! They, they ain't nothing but bail. Helping criminals stay conditionally free since 1937. <sighs> <laughs> is this guy named George on purpose? Because I can't be the only one who thinks he looks exactly like George Lucas. Gotta love bail, baby. Oh my god, this is so unhinged. This is so intimidating. <laughs> I wonder if this happens to lawyers a lot, where they find out that the guy they just got out on bail is gonna use that time to commit more crimes. I'm pretty sure I've read a statistic somewhere, actually, that says that bail, like, is actually super safe, and it's, like, incredibly rare that people on bail use that time to commit crimes. But I do love the image of lawyers sprinting around courthouses like, Put him back, put him back, put him back, I'm sorry! <laughs> How'd he get a gun? He literally just got out of prison. He's literally being driven from prison right now. I guess he took this guy's gun? In which case, you gotta keep your gun clipped, my dude. <laughs> Oh my god, crazy move, AG! <laughs> Do you think he'd be mad after I stole his car and almost ran him over? <laughs> nah, he'll get over it. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely going to prison too. He just stole that guy's car to help Ash with his criminal activities. It's super not okay. He stole your car and now he's driving Ash to get revenge on his brother's killer. Why do so many shows and movies have villains taking care of plants? Like you got this guy, President Snow from The Hunger Games. Not gonna make Hobby scary. I'm gonna assume what got between them was Dino's penis, uh, and I'm also gonna assume that Ash didn't like that. A surprise to no one. I feel like this show is like four steps behind me. Like, did we not already know this? Banana Fish better be a fucking dope-ass drug for how hard this show's been hyping it up. This show better get me begging strangers at Coachella to try some Banana Fish. Is Shorter some kind of fucking genie? I swear to god, Ash has been summoning this guy. Either that or Banana Fish is only his part-time job and he spends the rest of his time being in the Goofy movie. What, you're worried about Shorter not coming home? You just gotta say his name three times, he'll show up. I oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. I'm glad they're bringing it back up. Him being a pole jumper was such a wild, random character trait. Oh 
Oh my god, they turned his wild character trait into a wild tragic backstory. Pole vaulting is such a weird trajectory to put your life on, because if you don't end up going to the Olympics or anything, all of your pole vaulting training goes straight down the drain the second you leave school. It's not like football or baseball where you could, like, get a few of your friends together to play a game. You know, like, nobody's ever like, Hey, yo, Derek and I are gonna go down to the local reservoir and vault some pole. You win? Okay, but did you have to wake him up by pointing it at his head? That is not how you give somebody a gift. Why was that kind of sexy? Oh, let's go! Cannibal Crime Syndicate! Oh, let's stay! I'm a total idiot! Yeah, AG, I'd agree. That's pretty yucky. We still talking about a penis because this joke is getting darker and darker. Oh, let's go! Mission accomplished! Yo, this is a crazy set piece. What a crazy power move to roll up on top of a truck in broad daylight to gun down your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Shorter's just out here putting in work as always. Shorter's out here acting like everybody's substitution jutsu every time anyone's in trouble. Something about this show being about gangsters rather than like demons or ninjas make the villains so much more terrifying. Like, they feel so much more grounded and realistic, and so they just seem so much scarier. I mean, you know, I, like, realistic from my standards. I've never met a gangster. Ash is from Massachusetts? You know what? Honestly, that makes a ton of sense. Brief episode transition. If you like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon, where you'll get access to an exclusive reaction video every month, access to my own private Discord server, and access to all the recordings of the live streams I've done in the past and will be doing in the future. On top of that, you just help out the page a ton, ensuring that I'm able to keep putting out as much content as I do. But if Patreon's not really your thing and you still want more content while also supporting me, I do have a podcast. It's called Otaku's Anonymous. I do it with NC Hammer 23. It's a good time. I also have a second channel where I do video game and movie analysis videos, which are like still funny, but a little more pretentious, you know? The links to all of those things will be in the description below, so make sure you check those out if you want to help support the pages. Now, on to the next one. Yeah. Wow, never heard a father call his son a whore before. That's... progressive. Also, why is Ash's dad being played by George Lucas too? Wasn't Ash abducted into a sex ring at age 11? What fucking mental gymnastics is his father doing right now to somehow make that Ash's fault? Yeah, it was really endearing the way he called Ash and all of his friends whores. あんたみたいな人がなんであいつといるのか不思議だよ。お願いよ、そんな風に言わないで。I mean, he's raising a valid point. カリフォルニア州ロスアンジェルスウェストウッド42-102-1枚にスティーブントムソンは最後にその住所を言ったんだな。Oh yeah, wait, why do we never follow up on that LA address? Maybe I missed them talking about it or something? Like, clearly, I remember vaguely Ash telling Max about it. But, but how is that not the first place they immediately went to? <sighs> 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 <sighs>
すごいな起こしちまったかうんちょうど目が覚めたんだ Also, you're firing a gun 20 feet away from the house. Yes, you woke me up. <laughs> I wish that bottle just like slid in half like it was cut with a katana or something. Look, don't ask me about the logistics of it. I just think that would be funny. So that's the kind of thing. What is it? I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. そんなだからいい年して自分の身一つ守れねえんだぜ。To be fair, you're a 17 year old living the life of a 45 year old Hollywood action star. I think AG is the proper amount of coddled. おしんいち、やっぱりバッテリーを交換しなきゃダメだ。ロサンゼルスまではとてももた。そうか。You guys are driving to Los Angeles? It's gonna take like a week. None of you could scrounge together enough for some plane tickets? 彼とは友達だった。何か飲むかあんたたち。Hey guys, this year, why not try deep sea fishing? Why not, huh? What, what do you have to lose? I mean, it's the beginning of summer, and many of you may be breaking out your surfboards, but this summer, why not try deep sea fishing? Why are these real articles? Somebody wrote like three paragraphs for these two fake articles just for this one shot. あいつもその野球チームに入ってたんだが、ある時、服は破れてあざだらけで。何があったのか一目で分かったさ。Oh my god, this is horrible. Jesus Christ, Ash had the worst childhood. だから俺は言ってやったのさ。これからまたどっかのバカが妙な真似をしてきたら黙って好きにさせろ。You told him what? 俺の銃を持ち出してな。<笑>それでおまわりがヤズンチを調べたら地下室からゴロゴロ子供の骨が出てきやがった。Kids' bones. This is so heavy. I'm surprised the Earth wasn't knocked out of its orbit in 2018 by the sheer weight of this backstory. Also, absolutely none of this backstory explains why you've been calling your son a whore, you washed up science fiction movie director. <laughs> Dude, they had such a great opportunity to fortify this house and turn it into a fort. You guys have the advantage by having this house. How do they not just hunker down and wait for Dino's men to show up? Like, nobody should have ever left the house once they showed up. <laughs> Like a demon from the shadows, shorter strikes again. Damn it! So na. Good girl, I was. Good girl, all of you get up early. You are such an insane human being. You're talking about your dead wife like she's a tractor you lost the warranty for. Back, Musco. Ass, hard. Okay, well, don't leave without Ash. He's like the most important person of your crew. Him and Shorter. I was a human being. 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 I was a That's so lame. That's the lamest possible outcome of what banana fish could be. I just want to talk to you, but... Los Angeles, how do you say it? Are you eating your food? Los is not here. Oh, nice! The boys take Los Angeles. Nice. That was a lot faster than I thought it would be. I thought this was about to turn into a road trip show. <laughs> Thank God it's not. That was episodes five and six of Banana Fish. Uh, these were really good. Both of these were incredible. Way better than episodes uh three and four. One and two were pretty good. Three and four were fine. These ones are great. These really like start kicking things up a notch. But yeah, I'm digging it. Ash's backstory is the saddest backstory.、Uh, and his father sucks. His father's a prick. I didn't. <laughs> there's no redemption.、Uh, they they had their dumb little like, don't you die on me, pops, and I won't, you stupid son moment. But like, like no, fuck that. What? I just don't get. Like I don't. You know, whatever, whatever. Maybe he's a complicated character. <laughs> Fuck that, Dad. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of these episodes、uh, in the comments below. And as always, let me know which jokes of the video were your favorite, so Tom and I know which ones to make TikToks off of. And I will see you guys next time. But now I always seem to freeze the things I love.